in eighth grade math um, at Christ, beginning of fourth quarter, working with polynomials. Okay, so that's kind of where I'm coming from. Would anyone like to lead the class in prayer before we start? Okay, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving and gracious Lord, we thank you for this day, for the many blessings you give to us. Be with us in this moment. Help us to move forward and help us to always keep in mind your will. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, one, more for, one more thing I forgot to say. Um, just like Jill, I only have the one computer, so if you could turn your monitors off, that would be great. All right, today we are going to talk about z all over 2a. So that's the quadratic formula. If you remember, when you know a, b, and c, you put it into the quadratic formula, and you, fig you can figure out what the solutions of x are. Okay. So down here there is a quiz, so there are going to be three separate groups. In your group you're going to take the quiz. Okay. Since I only have one computer, the group's going to have to take one quiz. So the way that, that will work is you will solve the problems individually and then talk to the people in your group to see if you got the same answers. If you didn't, figure out what, what you did differently, which way was the right way. Evaluate what's really happening and what you did wrong. Okay. Then when your group comes to an answer, then you'll answer the question on the quiz. While that's going on, a second group is going to be working on the, the factoring in plain English that I was talking about. I attached our PowerPoint that walks through the steps of how to factor. Step one, oh, I'm sorry. Step one, if you remember, we need to determine what the operations are. Is it a plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus? And these were the ways that we talked about figuring that out. Okay. So if your group is working on step one, this is what you need to explain in plain English. If you remember step two, we find the factors of a zero. No, that's why if a is, ze a is zero is one of the solutions. Yes, I see. Oh, if they're doing that, we can't see our slides of what we need to do. Oh, man. I didn't think about that. All right, we're going to switch this up. These are the four questions on the quiz. Um, so why don't you just work on them at the desk on paper, and then we'll, oh. we'll put them into that quiz as a group. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, sweet, right? <laughs> Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Ursi. <laughs> no, I, I kind of anticipated that was going to happen. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. So if A is equal to 0, it doesn't matter what B is, the product will be 0. Same thing if B is 0. If B is 0, and let's say that A, okay, A is 1. Will 1 times 0 be 0? Two, three, four. Okay. So no matter what A is, if one of them is zero, they'll both be zero. Groups. Please. Can you work please. together? Can we, I, I don't want to see her. <laughs> I can't work with okay. her. John Paul, why don't you why don't you come up here and why don't you work on quadratic formula with these these people? She's working on something else. Okay. So if we have x plus two times x plus one, what would be A and what would be B? What are we multiplying together? Um, x plus two is A x plus 2 is our first thing when we multiply, so that's a. x plus 1 is the second thing, so that is our b. Sorry. A, a and b. Okay. So we can set a equal to 0, x plus 2 equal to 0, or b equal to 0. Okay. If you remember solving equations, John Paul, please come up here and work on the quadratic formula. <laughs> It's all right. You can hang out with her at lunchtime. Okay. So if you remember, you put a line through the equation. very much. How's it going back here? Oh, I like that. Cutting out letters. Very good. All right. Let's take another two minutes. OK, how do we do? x plus 3. So what, your answers are x equals 0 and x zero. equals 0. Not quite. You ran out of ink again? Oh. Here you go, Tim. How are we doing over here? 
Okay, so you do minus one, minus so one. So this is zero. I already did it. Zero minus, zero. I already did it. Yeah, x equals it's, three. I did exactly what he did. X mm -hmm. equals minus one. But I just don't know how to put it in this bottom oh. equation. So what do we do? Nope. What you did is exactly right. The two solutions. They're not helping you. Okay. I'll, I'll be right there. Okay, so go ahead and work together on that one. 2x plus 1 equals 0. How's it going over here? Ursi, did you, did you help these, these guys out? I did. She did. We're all good over You did? Here. Okay, I don't see a lot of work on these, on these papers. So let's look at the first one. What did you get for your answer for the first one? I don't think anyone got the first one. We, did, we all got the answer for the second one. Okay, what did you get for the second one? Mm. Okay, that is the factored form, but remember, we w I wanted you to use the quadratic formula. Remember, we sang the song. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing over here. If we have, we subtract one from both sides, and we get x is equal to negative one. Okay, so let's say that you had x minus three times x plus 1 equals 0. This question down here at the bottom. Sure. x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0. I want you to try to figure out the two answers for that, for that equation. Okay, so go ahead and work on that. I'm going to check on the other groups and be right back. Yes. I really want to get a good grade on this. Okay. Okay, so what idea are we working on? Look at what they did. Uh, John Paul, why don't I take the camera and then when you're ready, you can when you're ready, you can come find me and then I'll come and I'll take the picture for you. Sound good? Okay. What are you cutting out? Hearts? How are we going to use hearts? We said we love factoring trinomials. That's great. I appreciate that. But remember, but our video, but our video is trying to explain to other people how you're supposed to factor. Right. So I love I love that you like math. We're step one, so we're just getting started. Yeah. Okay. I would rather you focus on the steps, and then okay. if we have extra time, you can go back yeah. and look okay. on that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So what, what answers did we come up with? Three and negative one. Who didn't get three and negative one? Um, this, and that's what we're going to be working on during this week, along with the in plain English. All right, did any of the groups get to this problem? x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. No? Not enough time? OK, that's fine. Well, if we remember, a is 1 when there's no number next to it, b is 5, and c is 6. So if you would have done the quadratic equation, we would get x equals 1. I'm sorry, x equals negative 2 and negative 3. Okay. So sorry that we didn't have enough time, but remember the quadratic formula would have given us this. Okay, did anyone, can anyone figure out the two factors? Well, this plus tells us that this is going to be the same sign. This plus tells us that they're both pluses. What are the factors of a? What are the factors of 1? 1 and 1. So this is just x. This is just x. What are the factors of 6? One, two, 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Well, what's 1 plus 6? Seven. 7. So that's not the right one. What's 2 plus 3? That's 5. So we have x plus 2 and x plus 3. OK, so we looked at the quadratic formula. We looked at factoring. Today we did the zero product property. So if a times b equals 0, then a is 0 or b is 0. What are our two solutions? Jill? Negative 2 and negative 3, which is exactly what we got with the quadratic formula. Okay. So we already know how to solve problems like this using the quadratic formula. We spent a week on factoring. And the reason why we did that is because next week we're going to get an equation like you see right here, factor, use the zero product property, and then come up with um, the solutions that way. Any questions on that? Okay. Thank you, and your homework's on the board. Have a good day.